We're in the Peruvian Amazon right now. And that is a Bushmaster. We're Chris and Gabby. We're just your average couple with a passion for wildlife. Okay, or not so average. We're professional animal handlers living in South Florida. We work with dangerous animals on a daily basis. Nothing is off limits, and we never know what kind of crazy animal we're going to run into next. Join us as we explore, adventure, and travel to new and amazing places. Welcome to our wild world. All right, it's about five o'clock at night. It looks like it's about to start raining. It hasn't rained since we got here. So honestly, we are hoping for rain. We're at the end of the dry season right now. So there's not a whole lot of wildlife out. Um, usually you see a ton of frogs. There haven't been many frogs out. So hopefully it rains and um, hopefully we get to go out and we're able to see some uh, cool animals, especially the frogs because there are some really awesome species here. I really want to find one of the, uh, the waxy monkey frogs. I'm gonna take Chris's disgusting socks inside so they don't get wet. Usually when it rains, people do anything they can to avoid the rain. But we knew that rain meant frogs and frogs meant hungry snakes out hunting. All right, we are heading out. So on last year's trip, we got like an eight foot Bushmaster. So obviously that's the goal of this trip is to hopefully try to find one again. Now it's been super, super dry and the creeks are like just mud piles now. And so we're really, really hoping this rain is going to dry out some animals. I will be happy with a rainbow blue or an anaconda, but of course a Bushmaster too. Yeah, I mean, that's always the goal. I mean, it's pretty much it's the coolest snake on this side of the planet, in my opinion. So oh, this is really cool. There's a, uh, this is a blue morpho, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, a blue or morpho owl. or an owl. I think it's a blue morpho. Butterfly, just on nervous leap. Ooh, oh. yeah, blue morpho seeking refuge. Oh, you better get out of the rain. This is a little forest dragon that I just saw sleeping. So I just, you know, picked him up. He's still kind of confused, I think. Enjoying the rain, really cool. Look at those colors. Let me see his uh, throat. That's cool, huh? Really cool. Hi, hi. We can go put him back. Look, I'm gonna put him like on a branch right over here. Um, where is that? Like over here? Yeah, Where's put him on there. there? Right, right here. We're just hanging out. He's still kind of like, I don't know if he's playing dead as a defense yeah. mechanism. Yeah. There you go. But this is how he was when I got him, too. The rain started to come down really heavily, and the trail turned into mud. Chris and a few others were a little bit ahead of the rest of us. So Chris just screamed Bushmaster. How big is it? Where is it? Right there. In the mouth. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> no. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my God. Just in case you couldn't tell by my reaction, I was ecstatic to find one of these guys, especially so early on in our trip. Not only did we find the most elusive snake of the jungle, but we found him while he was eating. All right, baby, what do we got here? Bushmaster, second year in a row finding second one. Second year in a row. And he's just downing a mouse as I walked up. This means that seconds before we walked up, this Bushmaster caught his prey. Oh. 
Although the Bushmaster is rarely encountered and not aggressive at all, they are extremely toxic, and even a bite from a juvenile can be fatal. We were very careful not to disturb him while he was eating, but after he was finished, we just wanted to spend a little bit more time with him. The snake wasn't aggressive and he up. didn't try to strike at us a single time during oh this interaction, God. but he did coil up no, and watch us. I think he's us. just going to coil. See? That's what they usually do. At least that's what the last one did. The snake was coiled up beautifully, and it was a perfect opportunity for Chris and everybody else to get some shots of him. So. On last year's expedition, Chris also found a Bushmaster. That was his first one, and it was over seven feet long. Last year when Chris found his Bushmaster, he did handle it to get some photos. And if you want to see that, you can check out our previous video. But since this one just ate, we all decide that it is in the animal's best interest if we don't handle it. Handling snakes after they eat can sometimes result in the animal getting stressed and regurgitating. And if you handle one when it has a large enough meal inside of it, you can actually end up hurting the snake. To be completely honest, we don't think that handling a snake this large would cause it to regurgitate or cause any harm to it, but we still decided that ethically speaking, it's not a good idea and it's definitely not something that we want to promote. So check out the Bushmaster just hanging out with us right now. You can see the animal is completely non-threatened by us. These guys are basically king of the jungle out here. At that size, he pretty much knows he has nothing to be afraid of and is just completely unconcerned with our presence. An animal of that size has an incredible strike range. I mean, I'm well within strike range right now, so I keep an eye on him, but you can see he's very, very calm, not threatened, not bothered, and not aggressive. Uh, this species does have a reputation among locals for being very aggressive. There's actually a mythology around them. Well, obviously so, because it's a giant viper. It's a huge venomous snake. But part of the mythology is that if one of them sees your flashlight beam at night, it will follow you home and kill you. And then also part of that mythology is that when you hear a whistling sound, that's the Bushmaster whistling. Obviously completely untrue. They don't whistle, they will not follow you home, and they're actually extremely placid snakes. This is the second year in a row that Chris has found one in the same area, general area, right? Yeah, same yeah. Reserve. Uh, I actually edited that YouTube video. I wasn't on the trip. So to see one in the wild like this, mind-blowing, incredible. Like, this is such an impressive animal, such a rare animal, and I'm just so grateful. This is so cool. I really want to do a little interview of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Are you still rolling? Yep. Yeah, yeah, here, let, let me, let me yeah, hold that, you. and I want to see you guys. So this is everybody that came on the tour. Yep. Hello. Yeah. All right, you guys happy to be here now? Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, tell me, uh, tell me what you guys think. It's an impressive animal. I think uh, just the scales on it, watching it with the rain on it, it's very calm. It looks amazing. Yeah? And the fact that we caught it eating a rat, I mean, that's pretty good. Anything better than that, so that's What do you think, awesome. Megan? Oh, man, such a rare opportunity. Really wasn't sure we were going to get to see one, and we weren't going to come out tonight. So <laughs> this is overwhelming. It's so fantastic. And Alex? Yeah, it was seriously the last thing that I thought we'd find out tonight. It was pouring in with rain, and, and you just found it right there. That's and so uh, cool. Alex, your birthday's what? Day after tomorrow? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday. Yeah, that's the best present. <laughs> this is a pretty good birthday present, oh, yeah. right? Awesome. Yeah, yeah cool. Like a six foot Bushmaster, and what? You're going to be 17, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not a lot of 17 year olds are out in the middle of the jungle oh, during yeah. a rainstorm finding Bushmasters. Right. <laughs> pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm.